Schmack a magab and hail and kill. It's me, Dr. Fuck, with a special edition of my track by track. This is going out to Jackson Routing. Uh, Jackson donated for me to do a track by track. I did mention in a past video, hey, look, I got a PayPal. The PayPal is in the link below. Um, I'm like a jukebox. If you want me to be a jukebox, then treat me like a jukebox. Put money in it. Or don't. Don't send me a penny and I'll continue doing track by track but like a jukebox it ain't gonna work if you request without donating and Jackson gave me such a healthy donation and I told Jackson I was gonna do something special for him and what I'm gonna do for Jackson because he donated so much I'm gonna he asked you know for me to do a man of war track by track one but that ain't gonna happen Jackson I'm gonna do all the track by track man of wars up to uh, Triumph for Steel. All the albums that have the same amount of tracks. I'm going to do them all. All for Jackson. Uh, he's been a contributor from, from my last channel as well. He deserves it. So let's do this. All right, so for the first uh, two albums that have the same amount of tracks, we got the first one, which is Battle Hymns. Probably my favorite from the early stuff. Uh, versus, is it Sign of the Hammer? Yes, Sign of the Hammer. I am correct. They both have eight tracks each. Which one do I like more? God, it's tough because this one is really good, but I'm going to give the edge to this one. So let's do this. Uh, we got uh, Death Tone starts the album on, on Battle Hymns versus All Men Play on Ten. All right, I admit, that one's a bit too cheesy. My, my ex-guitar player used to goof on me because I didn't like that song. That, I admit, All Men Play at 10. It's not that I hate it, hate it, but I just, I don't know. It's just the title alone. I kind of like, ugh. All right, so let me write this down. Battle versus uh, Hammer. All right, so I'm giving that one to Death Tone. All right, then track two, Metal Days versus Animals. Oh, no, Animals I like. Uh, I'm going to give that one to Metal Days, though. Uh, Fast Talker versus Thor, the Powerhead. Uh, Fast uh, You know what? I'm going to give that one to Hammer. I'm going to give that one to Thor. All right, the last track on side one, Shell Shock versus Mountains. Mountains, I don't know, maybe my second favorite track off Hammer's. Nothing wrong with Shell Shock, but the way Eric Adams sings the beginning of Mountain, fucking awesome. All right. Oh, look at that. Side one, it's a tie. Two to two. Flip the albums over, and we got the song Man of War, Born to Live Forevermore, versus Sign of the Hammer. Fuck. That's a tough one, man. I love Sign of the Hammer, but I'm going to have to go with Man of War. I'm going to give that one to Man of War. All right, then we got Dark Avenger. Dark Avenger is my favorite track off this album. Uh, versus The Oath. The Oath is awesome. Hot, heavy, fast. But man, Orson Welles. I got to give that one to Dark Avenger. Definitely Dark Avenger gets that one. Ooh, four to two. What a, what a lead it's got now. Uh, William's Tale. It's a bass solo. Uh, versus Thunder Pick. Another bass solo. Hmm. <laughs> Which bass solo do I like more? Um, well, you know, technically Thunder Pick is technically better, but I'm going to give it to William's Tale. All right. Ooh, five to two. So it already won, but let's do the last one anyway. The incredible title track, Battle Hymns versus my favorite track off this album. Uh, Guyana, Cult of the Dam, thank you for the Kool-Aid reference, Jim. So awesome. Um, definitely giving that one a hammer. So, Battle did win. One, two, three, four, five versus three. So, the one I like more won, but this one's great. They're both great. All right, now we go into round two, Jackson. We're not done, and I know which one you wanted me to do. 
And that may be the last one because I think it had louder than hell, right? So that may be the last track by track. So stick around, dude. I know you're loving this. And hopefully we have more Man of War fans out there that are loving this. So uh, the next battle we're going to do is uh, the second album. Into Glory Ride versus Hail to England. Both great. Which one do I like more? Oh, man, it's pretty much a tie. I'll give this one the edge for a song that I'll talk about. One of my favorite Man of War songs. So we start with Warlord versus uh, Blood of My Blood of My Enemies, dude. All right, let me put this uh, into Glory Ride versus uh, England. And Ready England got a point. Love the Warlord, but again, Blood of My Enemy, one of my favorite Man of War songs. Uh, Secrets of Steel versus uh, Each Dawn I Die. Hmm. They both are great, but you know what? Again, I'm going to have to go with uh, Hail to England on this one. Hail to England gets two. Wow, it's, it's, it's taking over, man. So far, it's in the lead. Gloves of Metal versus Kill with Power. Die, die. I love them both, but I'm going to have to go with Gloves of Metal. Giving that one to Gloves of Metal. Wow. Three to zero so far. Can it get one on side one? At least one? Gates of Valhalla is awesome. Uh, going against uh, Hail to England is awesome too, but you know what? I'm going to go with Into the Glory Ride for that one. I'm going to get and not against that song, but I like Hail to England. I do like that. All right, then we flip the album over to uh, Hatred versus uh, uh, Army of the Immortals. I'm going to go with Hatred because it's so doomy and killer. Giving it to that one. Um, all right, then we got Revelation Death Angel, my favorite track off this album, versus Black Arrows, which is, you know, just instrumental again. Um, of course, Revelations. Oh, look at this. It's a tie. It is a tie. Now we're going to the last track. Last track. Let's see. March for Revenge. Awesome song. Versus Bridge of Death. Another awesome song, but I'm going to give that one to March of Revenge. So, boy, it was close. This one was losing on side one, and then all of a sudden it came, it came up against this and, and won by one. That was a very close one. All right, that's track, that's track by track battle two. All right, Jackson, you wanted me to do Kings of Metal versus Louder Than Hell now. Louder Than Hell uh, has, uh, what is it, 10 tracks, whatever tracks it is. But it, um, I'm not going to add the bonus track. I'm going to do that when it goes against Louder Than Hell. So let's do these two albums. That are back-to-back, -back, fighting, uh, fighting the World versus Kings of Metal. And uh, this is my favorite Motorhead, uh, Motorhead, listen to me, Man of War album. My favorite Man of War album. So I'm definitely going to, I think this one's going to win. But you never know. This one is good. It has some tracks I don't like, though. I like every track on here. So let's do this. All right, we got Fighting the World versus Wheels of Steel. I like Fighting the World. I do, but Wheels of Steel, man. Definitely that one. So so I'm going to give that one to uh, Kings of Metal. Then we got Blow Your Speakers. That song I, I just don't like. And it was the one MTV video. Blow Your Speakers. It was just so stupid. Kings of Metal. Other bands play. Man of War kills. That Kings of Metal kills. Blow your speakers. So I'm giving that one to, to Kings of Metal. Then we got Carry On versus Heart of Steel. Carry On is cool. I don't hate it. It's a little cheesy with the Carry On. Carry, but, you know, I can, I can deal. Now, Heart of Steel, Eric Adams is just so phenomenal. It's a very beautiful orchestrated ballad, but I fucking love it. So, I, again, 
Another one for Kings of Metal. Man, three to zero. This ain't looking good. Violence and Bloodshed rules. Probably my favorite, eh, second favorite, or pretty much tied with my favorite track off this album that looks like Destroyer. Same artist did it. Um, Violence and Bloodshed versus Sting of the Bumblebee, which is awesome because it's uh, a killer bass solo. Probably my favorite of the bass solos Joey DeMaio does. And by the way, he doesn't do a bass solo on every album. But he does on he does it on plenty. Um, oh, I gotta go with violence and bloodshed. All right, I'm back. I went to go turn off my AC. Yeah, it's uh, late December and it's hot as fucking Florida. I know, I know. Sucks for you. Just kidding. I know all you people like being icicles. Let's continue going. I believe the next track that I had to go to was Defender. And that's going against The Crown and the Ring. Uh, you know, I love Defender. It is a little dragged out in the beginning with the, you know, spoken word thing. But I love when he goes, Father, Father. That part is so awesome. Um, Crown and the Ring is just an orchestra with the amazing Eric Adam vocals and I'm going with the mellow one. I love that song so much, man. I'm giving that one to the crown in the ring. So amazing. Such an amazing track. Another one for Kings of Metal. Okay, next we got Drums of Doom, which is basically just a drum solo thing. Um, from the late, great Scott Columbus. I love him. Uh, going against Kingdom Come, you know, Kingdom Come, I think should have been like a single, a single, in a video. I think that song's very catchy and uh, very easy to digest for you Man of War haters. Um, definitely going to give it to Kingdom Come. This is, Kings of Metal is kicking too much ass here. It's got five to one. I can't remember what side. We're probably ready on side two on this. So we got Holy War, which is a cool tune, versus Hail and Kill. Sorry, Hail and Kill got that one. Wow. Uh, Alright, then the Warrior's Prayer. Warrior's Prayer is just a spoken word of grandfather talking to his son. Uh, versus Master of Revenge, which is really just kind of like an intro to the last song. But I'm giving it to Master of Revenge. Fuck it, man. I was giving, let's give it that. Throw a bone to to uh, fighting the world. Then, oh, Black Wind and Fire and Steel, my favorite song on here. Versus, ugh, Blood of the Kings. That's super tough. Blood of the Kings is so awesome. I love the lyrics, how it references like past Man of War songs and stuff. Black Wind, Fire and Steel. And they both have that real long, long ending. And it's almost a tie. Man, I would say it's a tie, but fuck it. Gun to the head. Well, the power of thy sword to the head. Um, I'm going to give it to Blackwood Fire and Steel. I love that song. And I was so happy they played it when I saw it. But it doesn't help because this one got three. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This one got six. My favorite Man of War album got six versus three. All right. Next track by track battle. We're going back to the first album. Battle Hymns. Going against one of the later ones. The Triumph of Steel, right? Yes, The Triumph of Steel. Both great. I like this one more, but this has got some good stuff on it. So let's do this. I mean, the first track is super long on this. It's uh, uh, Achilles' Agony and Ecstasy in eight parts, uh, which is cool, but then some parts are kind of like, I don't know, a long guitar solo, some useless parts, versus uh, Death Tone. I'm giving it to Death Tone. All right, let me write this down. Battle versus Triumph. All right, uh, one for Battle. Okay, then we got... Metal Days versus Metal Warriors. Wimps and posers leave the hall. I'm giving it to Metal Days. I mean, not Metal Days, Metal Warriors. 
I'm giving it to that one. I love that song. Cheesy whatever. When I go to a pizzeria, I ask for cheese. I like cheese. I don't care. Then we got um, Fast Talker versus Ride the Dragon. I'm going to give that one to Battle Hymns. Another one for Battle Hymns. Then um, Shell Shock versus Spears Horse of the Cherokee. Uh, Shell Shock. Ooh, Battle Hymns is kicking ass here. Three to one. Uh, then we got Man of War, the song Man of War versus Burning. Again, I got to give that one to Battle Hymns. Love that song, Man of War. Then uh, Dark Avenger, as I said, my favorite track, versus The Power of Thy Sword. Fuck, I love The Power of Thy Sword. Such a killer tune, but... Dark Avenger, man. Giving it to Dark Avenger. Battle got this. Then we got William's Tale, the, the bass solo, versus The Demon Whip. Man, this, this album features a, a drummer called Rhino. And the drumming he does in the Demon Whip toward the end is insane. So, you know, it's an easy one. I, I definitely, I love, the, I love the Demon Whip. I definitely put that over uh, William's Tale. So another one for Triumph. Then Battle Hymns versus Master of the Wing. Wind. I gotta tell you, man. I know a lot of you ain't gonna agree with this one. Battle Hymns is so epic and so amazing. But Master of the Wind is another one of those songs like Crown of the Ring, Orchestra with Eric Adams. That's the one that goes, uh, clouds above, clouds below. I gotta give it to that. Not that it's gonna help it win. Because Battle got one, two, three, four, five. And Triumph only got three. So, this one won. All right, next we got Sign of the Hammer versus Triumph of Steel. Both have eight tracks. Let's do this. And this one starts with All Men Play on Ten versus uh, the big opus in eight parts. You know, if they were to cut down this opus in eight parts and got rid of the solos and some of the unnecessary little mumbo-jumbo in there, I probably would go with that one, because there are elements of that song that I like a lot. All my play on ten are very cheesy, but you know what? I'm going to take it over that, you know, because I, I just feel like it's better. All right, so one for, uh, let me write this down, Hammer versus uh, Triumph, and we got one. All right, then we got Animals versus... Metal Warriors, both great, but I gotta go with Metal Warriors, man. Every one of us has heed the call. All right, it's a tie. Oh, is this one gonna be a good one? Cause which one do I like more out of these? I like this one more. The the Ross the Boss era is my favorite. Uh, all right, uh, then we got um, Thor uh, Thunderhead versus uh, Ride the Dragon, right? Yes, Ride the Dragon. Um, Thor. Giving that one to Thor. Okay, next we got Mountains that I doubt's going to lose. I love that song. Mountains versus uh, uh, Spirit Horse of the Cherokee. Uh, definitely got to go with Mountains. I like the Spirit Horse of the Cherokee. But Mountains, man. Definitely Mountains. All right, now we flip this one over. And we start side two with Sign of the Hammer uh, versus Burning. Sign of the Hammer. Ooh, this is uh, pretty brutal here. Hammer got four. This one got one. Can it get another one? Let's find out. Um, Oath is awesome. That's an awesome tune. The Oath. Uh, versus The Power of Thy Sword. Ooh, I have to give it to The Power of Thy Sword. Have to give it to that one. So there you go. You got another one there, Triumph of Steel. Now we're down to uh, uh, last two. Thunder Pick, bass solo, versus Demon Whip. Awesome, awesome song. Already talked about the drumming on that. And I'm definitely giving it to Demon Whip. Ooh. So look at that. It's coming up from behind. Three to four. Now the next one decides which one's going to win. I mean... If this is going to win or if they're going to tie. Guy, oh, 
Guyana, man, Colt, uh, versus Master of the Wind. I'm going to have to think about this one. <coughs> man, Guyana is so good. And Master of the Wind is so beautiful. <sighs> you know what, man? It's a tie. I got to give it to Master of the Wind. I mean, by a little, by a hair. I do love Guyana a lot, but there's just something so beautiful. Orchestral. It's not even metal. Blasphemy. All right, now what we're going to do is what Jackson wanted. Kings of Metal. I'm pulling up CD because this one has the bonus track versus Louder Than Hell. I love both these albums, but as I said, this is my favorite, favorite Man of War album. But this one is awesome. I love this album. Um, okay, so let's do this. Um, Kings of Metal versus Louder Than Hell. Okay, so we start with uh, Wheels of Steel versus Return of the uh, Warlord, which is awesome, but Wheels of Steel, I'll give it to that one. Um, Kings of Metal versus Brothers of Metal. <laughs> they love the metal, man. Uh, Brothers of Metal. Yeah, I, I got to give it to Kings of Metal, though. Wimps and posers leave the hall. Uh, Heart of Steel, love it, versus the God Mage. God, the gods made heavy metal, man. I gotta say that's a tough one, but you know what? I'm gonna go with the gods made heavy metal because they said it was good. They told us to play it louder than hell, and we promised that we would. And when losers, aka Man of War haters, think it's over with, you know it's a lie, because the god made heavy metal, and it's never gonna die. That to me is fucking poetry. Fuck Bob Dylan. All right, so then uh, then we got Sting of the Bumblebee versus Courage. I love Courage. I got to give it to Courage. It's so uplifting, beautiful, ballady, Eric Adams rules. Give it to fucking Courage. All right, it's a tie. Two to two. All right, then we got uh, The Crown in the Ring versus number one. Uh, I dig number one, but no, man, Crown in the Ring. Even though it's mellow and everything, it's not metal. I give it to that one. Three to two. All right, then we got Kingdom Come versus Outlaw. Outlaw rules. It's fast. It's heavy. But I'm giving it to Kingdom Come. Oh, it's really in the lead now. All right, Pleasure Slave is the bonus track uh, on here. Uh, going against King. You know, I'm giving it to King. Not against, you know, uh, Pleasure Slave, but it is kind of like, you understand why it's a bonus track. So, there's a little extra cheese on that. Nothing wrong with it, but you know. Alright, then we got uh, Hail and Kill versus Today is a Good Day to Die. Today's a Good Day to Die is like nine minutes long, and it's, what is it, just like drums and guitar, right? And keyboards? Eh. Uh, I'm not into that one. Hail and Kill. Easily. All right. Then we got uh, a Warrior's Prayer, right? Yes. A Warrior's Prayer versus... My spirit lives on. A warrior's prayer is just grandfather talking to his grandson, where my spirit lives on is just a shredding guitar solo that to me is kind of nonsense. And even though a warrior's prayer is kind of nonsense, I'm going to give it to that one. Grandfather? <laughs> I'm giving it to the spoken word over that shredding guitar solo. All right. Uh, another one for Kings of Mother. Then we end with the blood of the kings versus the power. That sucks. Because I love the power so much. And I love Blood of the Kings so much. I know most of you would go with Blood of the Kings, but I'm not. Because I love the power so much. that I made a video for it, and if YouTube allows it, I'll tack it on at the end of this video. If it don't, then you know I'm just going to end it with your schmackamagab, and that's it. And order from Miami Metal Merchant, please. 
So another one for Louder Than Hell. So Louder Than Hell, right? Uh, I'm not sure if I got the count right. I might be a little off, but either way, Kings of Metal wins by one, two, three, four, five, six. And Louder got four. Yes, I am right. It is ten tracks. Jackson, buddy, I hope you enjoyed. I went the extra mile for you because you were kind enough to donate. Anybody out there want to donate? Uh, for a track by track or anything you want me to do anything, you know send me a little money man, and I'll do it for you or don't I'm not begging. I'm just saying hey, man. I'm doing all this for free I'm not monetizing this channel. You're not being disturbed by commercials and all hey You're gonna bitch about me saying hey, man. I'll take some money then you know anyway, um Thanks for watching. Thank you, especially Jackson Routing. And uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe and press the little battle. And will YouTube allow me to put not only the video I made for Power, but I made a video for House of Death. We will find out if YouTube will allow those two videos to be shown on here after I say the next word. Smack him a gob!
This video has been brought to you by Miami Metal Merchant. For your metal needs at competitive prices, visit MiamiMetalMerchant.com. Tell them Dr. Fuck sent you.